Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be opening a bunch of uh, booster packs, blister packs of Age of Overlord. Uh, this set has been pretty well to us in the past. We've gotten the secret rare version of SP Little Knight. We had Imasty as a secret rare as well, so those were good value. Uh, the other day off camera, I actually uh, just opened up one of these blisters just for fun, and I got the wanted uh, seeker, uh, seeker of Sinful Spoils. As well which is like sitting around a hundred dollars as well as the secret rare version also has a quarter century as well so i've uh, been getting a lot of good hits out of this set and i've got the blisters sitting around figured i just knock out a few videos here or knock out a video here with it uh share the opening with you guys uh, obviously when you don't film something you get good hits so let's see if we can continue our luck here i hope you guys are enjoying the uh, the holiday season, hopefully finding some good deals on cards, good uh, sets out there right now. Obviously, Age of Overlord, one of my favorites uh, with all the hits going on for me. Uh, but obviously, Rarity Collection still out there. So hopefully, you're finding some good deals uh, as stores put things on sale for the holiday season. And also having some time to enjoy uh, with your families, your friends, etc. Uh, as... The year winds down and we get ready to head into 2024 and obviously we'll still be here making videos in 2024. We enjoy collecting. We appreciate you guys being around uh, for us during 2023 and uh, we look forward to 2024 with you guys. Uh, Going to be some more videos this year uh, for sure, but I uh, appreciate you being with us on this journey and uh, we're looking forward to another year. So, I said Hopefully, uh, 2024 brings brings some big hits for everybody as well. So let's see, if we got anything big hit wise? Just Starry Dragon Cycle here. Nothing, nothing too major on the first pack, but that seems to be where I am. But I was like, I got to do it. I gotta got these packs. Might as well just crack into them after I got that wanted card. So I was like, oh well, I need to. Wasn't filming. No one believed me. I already listed it. Oh, well, let's just skip right to Burning Dragon. But uh, I sold it literally within about four hours, listed it and sold it. I'm like, I'm putting it in below market value. It's like a $100 card on TCG Player, but I'm like, learning my lesson. I'm like, I need to move stuff, especially with my cost. And it is only, you know, face value. So, kind of. Market shift wise, whenever I, I get something, I'm like, I need to make sure it sells. I always just let's get it out there, get it on, get it listed. And make sure make sure the you're getting your money back, but also make sure that you get the uh Ooh, we got XYZ Armor Fortress. Good looking card. Just a super. Make sure that you get you're the first one they find because you're the the lowest price. Kind of my my thoughts is keep you keep yourself in the ballpark. Get enough enough back, but free shipping and uh, offer free shipping and be close enough. Make back you know anything you've expended on on product or whatever. And so like when we were doing with SP Little Night, obviously it was going like way over a hundred. But you want to get in at least make sure in case there's a, a quick drop in the market, you can sell off whatever you've got and get out. All right, we got original sinful spo soils. Ugh. Original sinful spoils snake eye as an ultra that's non guaranteed. So we'll set that aside. Decent ultra for a couple bucks. That. I got I got that one yesterday. Oh, yeah. well, it was two days ago at the time of filming this. And it's like, hey, my entire cost of these packs. Huh. Well, that is the rest of my table. You guys get to see as we fall. Leave it in there. Finish the year with a blooper. Curse Bride Doll. We got Supreme King. Pit Knight Philly. And Nephabilis. And nothing left. No idea how many of these packs I actually had. I'm gonna be quite honest with you. 
So it looks like I've got about somewhere in the ballpark of maybe 10 left, not sure. So we're just gonna keep going until we run out. Fire recovery is a super rare and nothing hidden in the rest of the pack. If we can strike that uh, SP quarter century for some reason, which is still always one of those those goals that I have when I buy these when I buy the packs, is I always hope that maybe I got the the set that they they had at Walmart where somebody loaded up the the, the blisters with all the good hits. We got Shino Baron, Wings of Light as a super, and we got nothing else. I'm just gonna double check. Is anyone gonna, uh, at this point, you guys have all probably seen the announcement regarding the stainless steel. Oh, we'll jump right to happy guidance of Oris. And got nothing else. Maybe that was my one hit that I was I got the other day. At this point, you guys have all seen the announcement regarding the four hundred dollar stainless steel god cards in acrylic in their cartoony prints. Let me know in the comments if you're looking to buy them. I will be passing on those. There are much better Yu-Gi-Oh products for 400 bucks. Exceed the Pendulum. Super rare reprint right there. Not, not a good uh, one. <laughs> so if you thought the, uh, the $1,300 Dark Magician Silver card was overpriced and not worth its weight in silver, well... Now we have a new one. We got Canopic Protector and nothing. Just one Ultra thus far. We're down to four packs. I mean, it, it would be a decent product if it was about a hundred bucks maybe total. I, I can understand having the cartoonish prints of the God cards and you know, having this, the original, the throwbacks and stuff. You know, the way they were translated in the manga but it's that's just an, an ouch the price tag on that we got testina the divinity that defies darkness as an ultra rare and then we got red arrows i don't know why i'm going through ones it's I, just, I can see people also trying to get the you know win the promotion for the uh, ultra rare copy of Black Luster Soldier, but dang it, that is not. Spend your four hundred dollars somewhere else, right? Unless you really want it, let me know. We got another Nephilibus. And we got nothing else. Down to two packs. Miracle of Spring King, Shinna Baron, Nemerlia, Cursed Bride Doll, I already saw Burning Dragon there, and then we got just two Ultras in this set of boosters. Man, I gotta, had one big hit and nothing but duds, and they even filmed the hit. You get, no one's gonna believe me. I'll have to link my, uh, my eBay page, give myself away at this point. We got Earthbound, Wat Kiyuki, Asset Mountis, and Canopic Protector again. It was not a good set of boosters for me after that. So we ended up with two Ultra Rares, Tistina, and then Original Sinful Spoils. So probably all in all, made back dollar, oh, it's made back the dollar value. Um, he's been sitting for a while, so. Um, that's what you get. You gotta open them. So it was fun. We'll set you in the next video. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the holiday season. And 
Uh, we look forward to more openings as we head into the new year with you guys. Take care, and we'll see you in the next one.